Good day to you, my dudes. How you been keeping? I hope whatever you've been up to today has been incredibly wholesome. I love you, Dad. I love you, son. Welcome back to another Soul Singer Discovers. Today on Soul Singer Discovers, we're going to be rediscovering Slaughter to Prevail. But before we do, it is, of course, Metalhead Musings. Today's Metalhead Musings comes from Brian. Brian Mack says, While I do like your videos, I love Subscribe You Whore. I often just stare at the sign, appreciating its perfection. <laughs> well, thank you, Brian. Yes, I do uh, have a somewhat offensive sign for subscribing you, but you know what? I think, as I said to Brian, it encourages certain people that are good and it definitely puts off people I wouldn't want in my comment section anyway. So, Come see, come see. If you enjoy the salacious things that I say on my channel, which I'm willing to believe you do if you're here, you can now get a t-shirt. Ooh, look at that. It says, hello, my, I mean, my mic's ruined it. I have to take my mic off. Oh no. Uh, it's covered with several different sayings that I say throughout the channel. You can buy one from the link in the description below. Go forth. All the money that I raise from t-shirts will be going back into the channel so I can spend more time making these videos even better for all of you. Or I might spend it on drugs. I haven't decided. Today, 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 today on Soul Singer Discovers, we are rediscovering Slaughter to Prevail. We don't need to ask Rosie anything about them. This song was requested in the comment section quite heavily on the last Slaughter to Prevail video. Um, Alex Terrible's voice really did blow me away at one section. Most of it I was quite sort of au fait with. I'd seen a lot of it before in the other metal vocalists that we had watched, but he has a deep low register, which is frightening. Frightening. Today's song is Viking. So let us not waste a minute more. This is Slaughter to Prevail with Viking. Christ, I, I need to, I'm going to go find it, hang on. <sighs> 1 minute 28. I mean, bro, I, how does, okay, people did warn me. Alex is capable of doing very strange low guttural noises. That's a weird one on me. How does one, oh, it's, it's kind of like, um, it's like a fluttering. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. It's fascinating. Um, really impressive. I think, here's the thing, right? With metal vocals, a lot of people do get in their high horse who don't listen to metal music. And I have been guilty of being one of, the, one of those people. Especially because ugh, in one of my classes that I took for my music BA, there was a guy in the class who was a metalhead. And unfortunately, he had decided that because he was a metalhead, he was better than everyone else there. And I was like, bitch, we're all on the same course. And one of the, I'll never forget one of the things he said in class. He said, metal vocalists are the best vocalists in the world. Me being me, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I burst out laughing. I was like, <laughs> And of course he snapped around to look at me and I was like, well, what do you want from me? That is such a wide sweeping statement. So you're saying metal vocalists are better than classical singers. That's not true. Classical singers are not better than metal vocalists. That's not true. 
a really, really impressive jazz singers are not better than anybody else, but equally, they're not. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's such a wide sweeping statement. That being said, I think every vocal genre has something within it that is so hard to replicate for other vocalists that it is incredibly impressive. I will never agree with that smart arse in that class because he definitely was speaking from absolutely no experience. He just loved metal, but there's definitely stuff within metal vocals that I know I certainly would struggle to do. I know definitely classical vocalists would struggle to do. I know definitely metal theater, um, metal theater, ooh, musical theater vocalists would do. And you know, vice versa. There's lots of things that we could all do that Alex Terrible couldn't do. But it's so impressive and it's such a weird one because they're using the same muscles. We're all, we're all using the same, all vocalists ever are using the same basic principles for a lot of things. Not for everything, but for most things. But stuff like that, who knows, Mary? Not I. I'm just a worm trying to make it through the day. And, and genuinely, I, I can't comment on the music yet because I was too busy listening to singing. But um, yeah, fascinating noise. Fluttering, guttural, beastie. Yeah, let's keep going. Jesus. Yeah, I think that Slaughter to Prevail, they're a great band. Uh, forget Alex for a second. I think the band are good instrumentalists. They obviously are. I don't think there's anything within the music that's really blowing me away harmonically. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I do think that some bands, without their vocalists, 
just wouldn't work. I think Slaughter to Prevail is one of those bands. That's not to take away from any of the instrumentalists. It's incredibly difficult to play some of this music. For putting aside harmonically, rhythmically, structurally, some of these songs are incredibly difficult. Not taking away from their skill or talent, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on which way you want to look at it, I do just think that there's certain bands where it's it's really important that the vocalists be front and centre because they are such the cherry on top of everything. Not for every band. You know, there's bands, loads of bands, God. Um, like, for instance, Mastodon. In Mastodon, all of those members are very talented, but they all play an equally contributive, contributive role in the band. Do you know what I mean? Like, all of their efforts come together and make that whole thing. And whilst all of Salt Slaughter to Prevail come together and make the thing, without Alex, they couldn't, they couldn't replace him. And I'm not saying you could just go in and replace any member of Mastodon, but I just don't think it's the same weight on each instrument as it is for the vocals, you know what I mean? Yeah, really impressive, really impressive. This one was very similar to Demolisher, but to its credit, because Demolisher's a great song. I think Alex's performance is unhinged unhinged. I've seen him, a couple of people have sent me little videos, little clips of him singing live. Someone sent me a video of him having a sort of scream off with a fan and he just sort of like screamed in the fan's face and yeah he can do all that shit live. It's just, it's incredibly fascinating, perplexing, frightening. Oof. What do you think? What do you think of Slaughter to Prevail? What do you think of Alex Terrible? What are your thoughts? Having a band where it appears that one of the members is doing most of the heavy lifting when it comes to the performance side of things. What other Slaughter to Prevail should I listen to? As always, thank you to my patrons. <laughs> thank you to you out there for continuing to like, watch and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, you fucking whore. You can go and get one of your t-shirts. Description below, I nearly lost my microphone. <laughs> Metalhead Musings, ooh. Also don't forget, don't forget, I do have a Twitch. I will be streaming metal music on said Twitch and me having a discussion about it. If you want to join me, head into the description as well and go and have a look. Subscribe and follow to that or what the fuck it is you do on Twitch, who knows? I don't know yet. Until next time, my dudes have a Viking kind of day. Don't hurt anyone.